Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jess with Snow Angel Arts. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing you how I make my own stickers for my journals. And it's a really easy, simple method and you don't need a whole lot of supplies. So here you can see I've already made a few. This was a piece of ephemera from a book that I cut out. Same with this and this little flower. Here is a um, book page, and then these are just some pieces of scraps from my um, designer scrapbook paper, and a piece of fabric, and I have actually turned these all into stickers for my journals, so I figured I'd share with you how I do that. So, the supplies that you'll need is a glue stick or whatever type of adhesive that you like to use. Um, Double-sided tape is also an option. This is just the Sparkle, Mrs. Sparkle & Co. brand from Joanne. It's like $2 a roll. Scissors and a bone folder or something to burnish with. Could be a ruler, the edge of your scissors, anything you have really. And then also I have these sticker label sheets. I have a ton of these green shipping labels. Um, my fiance brought them home from work because they didn't need them anymore. And I've just been hanging on to them. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And I was messing around this morning and I decided to use them for my stickers. So let me move these out of the way. Now like this uh, fabric here, as you can see, if I pull back the corner, it is sticky under there and I can stick it on a page in my journals and that's the same with all of these pieces so what I do is I will grab it can be anything any kind of ephemera cutouts magazine clippings whatever you like that you would want to turn into a sticker and the first option would be to take and glue the image onto a shipping label or sticker paper so if you just had like regular sticker paper that would be fine too and I use my glue stick so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue here on the back of this football stick it onto this label sheet make sure it's on there really well I hate this purple glue because I'm a really messy gluer and it gets all over everything and then you can see it. I mean, you don't see it once it dries, but... Okay, so let that sit for a minute to dry. And then all I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut this out. And once I do, I will be able to peel the back off and use this image as a sticker. So I guess the only hard part with this would be just, you know cutting evenly and accurately around your image so that you don't see the green hanging off of the edges or the sides or anything. Okay, and then the back side is white. Okay, so now if I pull this back side off, this side is sticky and you can go ahead and stick it on something. It's really that simple. Um, you could also do, like I had showed, uh, the long strip here of designer scrapbook paper. All I did was take that double-sided tape I was talking about and adhere it to the back. And then you kind of have your own sticker or washi tape. And then the same goes for the fabric, like I had showed you earlier. Now this obviously isn't even or anything, but I just took a random scrap to show you. And then once you take the back off of this, you can stick it down on paper too. Um, there's really all kinds of neat things that you can do with this. Like I said, magazine clippings or your own photos that you've taken if you wanted it to be a sticker. Any images out of books anything really so the possibilities are endless and I hope that you enjoyed this quick little tutorial I know some of you may have already been aware of this but just in case you weren't I wanted to share it with you so I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video thanks